They will meet 12th seeded New Mexico State, the Aggies from the Western Athletic Conference, 26 and 6 on the year. A little bit of a home court advantage, but that New Mexico State team is really dangerous. The Aggies have a number of guys that can make it happen. Teddy Allen is a terrific all around player. Johnny McCants is a guy in the middle, and they've got an outstanding guard in Jabari Rice. Keep an eye on New Mexico State. That's right, New Mexico State going back to the big dance. The Aggies, a 12 seed, trying to pull an upset of five seed UConn. That game will tip off at 450 Mountain Time in Buffalo, New York, kind of in Connecticut's backyard, airing on TNT. And you saw Chris Jan's reaction right there. He almost spit his water out in surprise that the Aggies got a 12 seed. Frankly, I agree with them. Most projections had the Aggies getting a 13 or 14 seed. Jan himself thought that's what New Mexico State would get. But the Aggies' strong reputation as a mid-major powerhouse does precede them, helping them move up a seed line, giving them a better chance to pull an upset of the Huskies. Scouting and preparation for UConn has already begun in earnest for the WAC champion Aggies. Chris Jan said earlier this afternoon that he'd yet to see the Huskies play a game this season. New Mexico State will have yet another chance to pull an elusive first round upset. The Aggies got within a point of beating Auburn in 2019, but they could not make it happen. This Aggies team is capable of some very high highs and also some very low lows, but perhaps their biggest strength is the experience that they have on this roster. I think that always helps, right? You can't teach experience, so um, we'll have to educate the other guys that haven't played in, in that type of platform because it's different. I don't think we've uh, played our best. We've had a couple games uh, the last few weeks where we played really well. I thought we played um, some good stretches over the weekend where we were close to our best. Nobody wants to go home. We lose, we go home. The season's over, you know what I mean? So every game is important, and this one is more important than any game in, that you can ever have this season. Heading into March Madness, the Aggies have depth to 11 different players have started games for Chris Jans New Mex and New Mexico State. Don't discount that come tournament time. So here's a look at the Aggies, 26 and 6, and the WAC Champions Conference Player of the Year. Teddy Allen could be one of the names of the entire big dance. He can get red hot at any time and win a game basically on his own. The Aggies are 14th in the nation in rebounding margin. The boards will be big in this one. We'll explain that in a moment. The Aggies turn the ball over at a high rate, though they do that on Thursday and they don't shoot the ball very well they will likely lose if they do though maybe they get that victory and while it's officially been over 50 years since NMSU has won a tournament game since their wins in the 90s were vacated by the NCAA the Aggies do have history on their side the 12-5 upset is one of the most common in March Madness it's happened 51 times since 1985 this is a th uh, third straight NCAA tournament that NMSU has been a 12 seed they hope that this time is the moment that they get it done versus UConn now looking at the Huskies UConn is going to be a very tough out for the Aggies 23-9 on the year 13-9 first teams in quadrants one of and two of the net rankings. They're coming off of a very tough loss to Villanova in the Big East Tournament semifinals. They did get victories over Auburn and Villanova this year. None of their nine losses are by more than 10 points, so this is a tough defensive and athletic team that will give the Aggies some trouble. Here's more on the Huskies. RJ Cole is their point guard and leading scorer, but Adama Sanogo inside could give NMSU the most trouble. He's a double-double machine. The Huskies rank third in the nation in offensive rebounding thanks in large part to him, so that could be the story of the game. I spoke with Jared Kotler of the Connecticut Scoreboard Podcast earlier tonight for more on the Huskies and why they will be a tough out. They really put an emphasis on, on their defense. This team uh, is really just going to make you grind out a game against them. They'll play with some tempo when they want, but when you'll see, you know, in, in a lot of their games, they're playing in the, the 70s uh, to 60s. So this team is really going to make it tough for you uh, offensively. At 450 Mountain Time on TNT Thursday in Buffalo, New York, we will get the answer to all of our questions regarding this matchup. As for 